Guys, I, I really just want to get this out of my chest. If you... God started revealing this revelation, I had to upgrade your life. It's going to be trading faith. It's going to take you trading where you put your faith. And what we have to do, which is a very scary thing for people, is trade it for the presence of what God wants to do in your life. Hi guys, welcome to a, another vlog. Welcome to my channel. It is Saturday. Woo! It is Friday. I'm already, I think I'm thinking we'll go to Saturday because I am caught in between going to church today for Sabbath opening. I was thinking of going to Calvin on Ethel. But I don't know, though. I'm just so tired. And the program, I think it starts at 6 o'clock. Um, I, I, I really am interested in going. But I'm just like, it's such a drive from where I am. Yeah, from where I am. Um, but also, yo guys, I don't know. What is all this? What is all this? Sorry, I was, I just saw something. I don't think it belongs to me. I think I borrowed my colleague my car um, and I just realized now that actually he left something uh, but anyway look guys I, I really just want to get this out of my chest if it is your first time here hello king hello queen hello darling welcome to my royal family welcome to our royal family look I've been checking out my analytics on my videos and I realized two things one Half of you guys that are watching my vlogs are not subscribed. So if you are seeing this now and you know that you haven't subscribed, please stop the video, press subscribe, and then it will change to subscribed once you've subscribed. Okay? If you have already subscribed, it will already say subscribed. And yeah, then if you would still just like to get notified every time I post, because I know that right now my schedule has been changing a lot, uh, you can just press the notification bell and it will notify you every time I post. So that's what I noticed. The good thing is that it is a 50-50 thing, but I would ideally want the 50% to be converted onto the other 50 that is actually watching my vlogs okay that's offload number one offload number two is that i noticed i checked out i'm vlogging <laughs> no i'm vlogging i'm vlogging i'm vlogging bye have a good weekend you look good i can see the red lipstick is already popping i'll see you other thing is i also um noticed that some of you guys that are actually um watching my vlogs actually like it when i talk a lot it's so weird it is super super weird because i've just always thought that like i don't want to be rambling 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 is when my tum tummy rumbles rambling is when i'm just going on and on and on. so i don't want to be rambling a lot right but basically guys Please subscribe to the channel because I'm really trying to be on my way to um, 1,000 subscribers. We are almost there. We are almost there. It will really, really motivate me. So please, if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. Um, I'm driving. I'm going to drive and make my decision. Um, what I do need to do right now is decide. Is decide. Or we'll see. Do I go to church or do I not go to church? Because also, tomorrow um is church i'm gonna go there as well so technically i would like to save on fuel but yeah i will think about it i will i'll think about it all, and then we'll see what happens in the next slide but let me drive at the moment let me drive also yes she's yes us anyway welcome to my channel hello king hello queen yes, i'm home now one thing that i realized about my place is that it's actually quite dark like it's still bright and sunny outside but my place is just dark and i think to make matters worse my couch just made it even darker so i'm going to show you guys the couch okay so this is the couch this is my couch um yeah i got it at, at, at a factory shop um somewhere in the south i think 
child, I'm, I, at this point, I don't know what is south, what is west, what is north in this city. It is what it is. But yeah, for now, it will do. Um, literally for now. When I say for now, I mean for now. It will do. Um, and then I went in with this curtain of mine. I've had this curtain. Let me lift you guys up because I don't think you guys can I've see. had this curtain when I stayed in Durban. I think my first, one of my first places, this is just the pillow that I got from, that I took from my bedroom. So obviously my side is here. Yeah. And if I do want to make use of it, this is it. And then this is just how the setup would look like on a normal Sunday, I guess, if I want some air to come in. But I don't think I'm that person. I just don't like the fact that it's so dark. I really don't like the fact that it's so dark. At least now, I won't have any neighbors coming in on some, uh, there's, a, there's a bit, I can hear the TV because the way, the one time, actually, I think my second night, if not my first night, yeah, I had some neighbor coming in and knocking on my door, telling me that my TV is too loud. But obviously, and, and at that time, the weird part is that it was still in my bedroom, because um, my entire life was in my bedroom. <laughs> But I guess I understand. Look guys, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not very happy with my couch, but I'm grateful. Um, when I now take a thorough, thorough look at it, there are some things I'm not happy with. But obviously, the budget that I had, I'm not even gonna complain. But Oksana, you guys, Sila. I need to Sila. Silana, what matters is that you guys and I, we, can actually start having our sit down videos we can get back to regular programming okay and i love it for us there's so much to just sit down and talk about i need to tell you guys about your the whole process of relocating i need to i need to fill you guys in on a lot of things mm. i don't think i'm going to church decided to come home and decide when i'm home because the traffic child is insane and i don't want to waste petrol pressing on my clutch and my accelerators because I don't think so. Traffic going to Santon is, is insane. So I'll just chill here and have a manga that you guys I cooked a manga the other day. OMG. What? For the first time I did that? I did that child. And they tasted so good. So tomorrow we're going to church obviously. It's, her it's Heritage Sabbath. Look, I'll be honest. The way I'm so tired. The way I'm so tired. I'm not sure if I'm going to go. But... I mean, I believe in rest of my face. <laughs> ah, you can, yo, ah, Shane, you can put a million dollars on that. I believe in rest, okay? And I don't want to be in a situation where I'm frustrating myself because I'm trying to be what? Because I'm trying to constantly go to church every time. Mm -mm. Guys, life is too short. And we need to rest. So that's basically what's going to happen. Look, my space. My space at the moment is just basically what it is. So I just need to defrost this. And uh, yeah, I need to top up on some things in my fridge. Morning, morning, morning. Morning, guys. It is Sabbath today. I'm getting ready. I really had to struggle getting myself out of bed. I was talking to my friend Lumbia last night and I was telling her, I'm saying, girl, first of all, I'm tired, okay? Um, also, given the fact that I ended up not going to church yesterday because I was just, I was that tired, you guys. I was literally just that tired. I said, so here I am getting ready this morning, trying to fix up my curls. Um, I was gonna go for a natural look because it is Heritage Sabbath and I wanted something very African. But I was like, mm, right now i don't have the the strength to deal with my own natural hair like straightening it up parting it Yo, uh, uh. so what i want to do is just like part it hopefully i want to part it the right way i don't lie to you guys getting a hot comb and uh the spritzer thing has been the best thing that has happened to my wig laying era okay because it honestly just starts 
feeling like the real thing just despite the fact that it just kind of burns a bit but i love it for me like i am so feeling that burn so i wanted to like basically talk about something you know what i realized guys i realized that church content is becoming like a thing or rather let me rephrase that i've realized that christianity is becoming content um and the reason why i'm saying it's becoming ooh, okay maybe this is too high it's becoming content it's because i was watching k yom's vlog the other day and trust me i love her i love her and i i know that she's always been like a jesus girl i get it um but she was also just going on about um how you know where she is in her life god and this this that i think particularly this year more than the other years she's been very uh bold and loud about it and then there's other content creators or rather influencers that have used this whole that have used christianity as a content thing and you know what's the problem i mean god for us or jesus for us all guys i'm not trying to be here being a better than christian I mean, i love it when people come to their senses and realize that jesus is lord because at the end of the day really there's no one else like our god there's no one who can do the things that he can do and there's honestly just no one better than him and no one like him also so i'm all for it i just do wish that some of them could take some sense of accountability guys some of these influences made us feel like ish s-h-i-t for especially when you know when you're growing up in your 20s and you're still in your developmental stages and you're trying to find yourself and you're still trying to become there's a there's a there's a time in your life where you where you kind of like don't know who you are and you're trying to figure yourself out and based on what you know that's 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 all you ever do right that's all you ever do that's that's all you ever become at that current time so a lot of us myself included Minaj, i'm not even gonna lie me myself personally there was a, a time where i honestly just felt like yeah zin i think Umut is not dating the right guys because they're not getting certain brands or certain kind of gifts because it 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 got to that point where you're just like hey baggy tina we're just dating broke guys type of type of situation um and bona they managed to get all these guys also where do they get these guys but little did we know because not everything you see in social media is what it is and that's just the sad reality would see not everything you see on social media is what it seems and nakona if you do not have discernment and if you are still very young you're 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 not really gonna see it yeah well you're always going to be in a position where you you just take it at face value and take it for what it looks like and what it seems to be and if you do not have any maybe older siblings or any guidance in your christian journey or in your adolescent life you are most likely to just fall and 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 or maybe just start doing and start living a life that is a bit off track and that's not right and only find yourself having to deal with the consequences now trust me i always believe in accountability i always say that accountability is everything so before we start seeing the christian life can we just start taking accountability and this is not just about the, in the influences or whatever but it's just about the person we are forgiven of our sins because we confess them therefore if you take accountability of your actions and you name those things that you are accountable for and you as loud as you were putting things out there be as loud as you are about accountability be as loud as you were with accountability as well because there's so much damage 
and unfortunately some for, for some people it's become a lifestyle because of what they consume what they consume has literally translated into their lifestyle and into their 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 thinking and hence we have a society that believes that um a woman should just always get splurged on and no woman should should be responsible and everything must be soft we must be like this yes be soft as a queen absolutely 100 percent. be soft but at the same time you're a woman take accountability take responsibility take your role head on right but if we're just gonna be pushing the narrative of Oh no, Jesus it, 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 it took over. Now my life has changed. I never really get to sit down and take accountability and really get introspect and call ourselves out on every single thing, naming it, just like how we confess our sins and we actually name them to God. We will never really get to a point where we grow because you will easily just fall and history can easily just repeat itself with you. You can always find yourself backsliding again. That's why I also say that as much as yes, the conversion is there and we see it and we love it for them and we love it for everyone. I love it for everyone. Again, please don't get me wrong. Jesus for us all. But where's the total conversion? We can't keep hiding behind the this whole thing of I'm still a baby in Christ or I'm still taking baby steps. I'm still new in Christianity. Guys, when you read the Bible, the Bible tells you what it is. And I'm no saint. I am no saint. But when you read the Bible, the Bible tells you what you should and shouldn't do. It's very clear. It's very clear. If you feel like you're still not there, start dimming down on some things. Don't put everything out there for us to judge you. Don't give us things to talk about. Don't make a mockery of Christianity because Christianity is not what some of our socialites or influencers or celebrities are portraying. Christianity is not a rebrand. It's a real thing. And for some of us, it has not been an easy journey. It's not easy, but it comes with a lot. So when we see or when others see people misrepresenting, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be personal. When I see people misrepresenting Christianity for what it's not, I, I'm just like red flag. But yeah. We, it's, it's a journey for everyone and I totally respect that. I just think that it's high time that we also take it seriously and in as much as yes, we are still growing in Christ, not everything is there for people to see. Let me do my makeup because today I'm trying to be on time. Ha! Hallelujah. Happy Sabbath! Oh, 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 oh. It's a bit dirty now with makeup, but it's the signature. I just want to take off this belt so I can add my makeup. gonna be a good day at church today <laughs> I mean as much as my makeup brush is broken but <laughs> vlogging the 
this by faith, trusting and believing <laughs> that all this is visible. Um, I'm going to do my eyebrows today, but I want to go in with something a bit brighter than you. <laughs> the song that's who you are. spirit of praise definitely need to be at it this year but i don't know i wanted to go pink or maybe i should go for like a a natural color maybe just a bit of pink to accommodate my blood Okay, and then on the corner of my eye just to create that illusion as if I actually did put on try to find I ways know. to cheat it because I can't wear it all it's, it just gets too much and I can't go in with just my can't see and then bend in my eyeliner lip liner in this case and then Miss gear honestly let me tell you something church is the one place in my life most of the time that I decide intentionally to dress up for because I feel good and I can't be dressing up for all my events and all that there but I never do for my God Something ain't right. Ain't right, fam. Okay, I think I went in a bit too hard with my gold. Let's just even it out there. Make it a bit more subtle. Yeah, what? Don't ask me why I have my mouth open. <laughs> Do not, because Nami Angas. And there we have it. Let me dress up now, guys. God, you call me by my name The love you give me, I just can't deny Yeah. No longer blinded, I can see you I'm on my way to meet you We gotta talk Tries and tribulations got me tired, I need rest And I heard that I can come to you and weary okay, of my flesh so I'm I'm I need you I from death God, I need you I No more walking by the flesh That's when I leave God told me I'm someone I was sitting outside and I am not about that life Shame, I am not about that life Um, Yeah, it was a very, very hot day I feel like I wore makeup on the wrong day because i went i went full in like i went slightly heavy on my makeup but not because it was intentional or anything like that but yeah i just wanted to feel good and look pretty and just you know i didn't take any videos because i was literally sitting outside so i came back just feeling like oh my god today i really wanted my soul and my spirit to be fed but that wasn't gonna happen so I came back home. I literally stayed about 10 minutes, 20 maybe, but I think 20 minutes is way too long because me and my patients, the way we're set up, no. So that's what happened. And then eventually I came, I drove, I came back and I just watched everything online. Um, I think that's the thing about, you know, today that kind of put me off a bit not put me off per se but disappointed i don't know what, what it was but yeah 
hasn't been much of a ooh, great day so far i'm baking um i've forgotten how therapeutic this is actually i remember there's a time when i used to bake uh back when i was still home and not well uh, i used to make my mom my mom muffins she became such a fan to a point where <laughs> to a point where if i'm not baking she's like what's wrong what's what's going on but when you're deep in your depression and whatnot you, you find ways to just stop thinking but anyway this is my muffin mix i, I i'm not i'm not even umundu amaskon i did do an attempt at some point but yeah i'm using my own oven simply because i'm moving out here soon and i don't like using my ovens i want to because sometimes it gets a bit tricky if you're not staying too long even in the previous flat that i stayed in i didn't I seriously didn't so i don't have i don't have my cups right so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna paste it on this um and then just cut it in half to make it make sense for me in the absence of the cupcake Container things. So let's do that. If I told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, told me I'm, told me I'm, told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, know that I'm someone, no, I'm a child of God. I wanna go to Gali way, close to your love again. I give my heart again, Jesus. I wanna go to Cali way Close to your love again Set up as you can see And I'm gonna have to end this vlog right here guys Cause I will not be doing anything interesting But it's good catching up with you guys And I hope that everything that we've shared and we've spoken about On this vlog you've taken it into consideration Please 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 subscribe if you haven't remember the analytics the analytics say that it's 50 percent of you guys who are not subscribed to watch and the other 50 percent are subscribed i would like for you if you have not subscribed once again just want to reiterate this please 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 subscribe and like thank you so much for joining me today i'll see you guys in the next tell me i'm tell me i'm tell me i'm someone tell me i'm someone know that i'm someone no, I'm a child of God